Well, it happened twice, SUVs crashing into a lake. The circumstances very similar. The drivers going off the road on US 441 at Lakeshore Boulevard and ending up in the drink. These two crashes happened just months apart. Since the initial crash last July, we've been pushing for changes there and now we're seeing results. That's right. Barriers are now being installed between the lake and the road. And as New 6's Nadine Yana shows us, it has already saved one driver. Last year, the owner of this fish camp restaurant asked New 6 to get results after not one but two cars crashed into the lake, but he was worried that they might crash into his own customers. That's why we contacted FDOT, and today we're learning they're getting results. Well, this is a direct result of your work. When the fish camp restaurant owner Jim Jordan pulled into work last week and saw construction for barriers along this lake, he was not only happy. Oh, I, I did. I was, uh, was jumping for joy. But he was relieved. Uh, this is great that we, we don't have to worry about it anymore. This after not once, but twice. He, his employees, and even customers had to help rescue people who crashed into the lake. The first time was back in July. It was caught on video. The SUV losing control while taking a left turn and plummeting into the water. The second time was just months later in November. Pictures showing the rescue. Well, very scary. And uh, because you don't know and you don't want to have a tragedy like that happen on your doorstep. But after New 6 showed FDOT the first video, they took action and now they're beginning a $143,000 project, installing these temporary barriers last week. And Jordan says it's already getting results. A car just last Friday bounced off the barrier instead of into the lake. Hey, he got out, checked his car, got back in and drove off uh, unscathed. A dramatic difference from the two dramatic rescues just months before. Uh, thanks for your work. Thanks for getting results for us. And uh, and uh, we're, we now have uh, one less thing to worry about here at the fish camp. So these barriers are temporary for now. FDOT says they're planning on putting more permanent barriers with construction beginning this week. In Tavares, Nadine Giannis, News 6.